Peggy 18. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary? Why bury her in this distant and awful place? It's a quarantine requirement, madam. The epidemic... I'm so tired. Please just take me home, Avery. Yes, madam. I know I should feel something, so why don't I? What does it mean? That I'm dead too? What's troubling you so much, Jonathan? Lady Ashbury, what are you doing here? I came to give you a warning, my dear. There's really no need. It's best if you just leave. Please, Jonathan, drop the pretense. I've had centuries to observe this world. I know the pain you're in. Really? So what's your diagnosis, Doctor? You're not heartless, but you are afraid to be free with your feelings, in case the hunger in you is let loose too. You missed your calling, my lady. You would make a fine alienist. Mark my words, Jonathan. The more you hold back what's inside you, the quicker you'll become the monster you most fear. But what if it's already too late? See that steeple? St. Mary's Church. I can't think of a better place for you to go to right now. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. She glides. A smile of frozen promise. A Pythian oath written on stone. Can't wait to split the heart of one of those dead bastards. Parker him who's never been face to face with one of these things. Hear that? <laughs> See those bite marks? The flu didn't do this. There's a vampire at work here that needs killing. Easy, Billy boy. This corpse is drained dry. Whoever did this is long gone. Bloody leeches. I'll cut down the first one to show his face. for a vampire, and were prepared for that meeting accordingly.
This flu kills so quickly. Less than three days. No one even heard this poor fellow's calls for help. Yeah, these things smell even worse when they're burning. I like their screams when you burn them alive. That's this nest of them cleaned out. We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Steady, boys. We got one of them here. Just look the other way this week, Joe. Come on. We can sort it out, right? Come on, Barrett. You know the game. You pay for peace of mind. Go. Please. Always try. for Christ's sake. It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist. If I don't answer the first one, what makes you think I'm going to answer you? Go on, piss off. I'm a doctor, not a journalist. A doctor, you say? Don't often see a doctor down here. I believe the contents of this box may hold more than a passing interest to you. Oh, letters regarding my boy. 
If you don't mind, sir, I'll be taking those. You do not seem either surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's me boy and I'm his dad. That's all anyone needs to know. If your son is ill, maybe I could check on him. If you would just let me enter your home, sir. Don't think I like your attitude, sir. In fact, I'm starting to take a dislike to your face. I could try and improve it, if you get my meaning, sir. Yes, my son. What is it? I'm sorry to disturb you, father. My name is Jonathan Reed. Really? That was the name of the poor girl we buried tonight. Such a terrible story. Are you family? Yes. And more. I... I'm the monster who killed her. You're distressed, my son. Come inside and we can talk about it. Monsters, father. Do you believe in them? Troubled souls, yes. Sinners from cradle to grave, but monsters? No, my son. They don't exist. I hope you're right, Father. For the sake of us both, I truly hope you're right. <laughs> 